what's next for you? What's next for you? This is what's next, Twan. I'm gonna give you a view. What's next for you? What's next for you? This is what's next, Twan. I'm gonna give you a view. If there's wind, let it be power. Let it be power. If there's wind, let it be power. Let it be power. from a dirty window but look at that sunset on this mountain view and I'm back in New Mexico Albuquerque it's pretty chilly out here just got my socks on can't see it but oh man Sunset. <sighs> yes. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. You probably was wondering why I was showing all of the gas prices and how much gas I put in the car and everything. And you probably see he put ten dollars gas in his car and he's traveling from South Carolina all the way back to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And um, it's an experiment. Cause every time I travel from state to state, basically I just was uh, filling the tank up all the way and never really paid much attention till it went back on the or close to E, and then I stop at a gas station, fill back up until I get to the location I'm at. So I did experiment, basically. I was all the way on E, put $10 in, got like 3.4 gallons. That bird is going wild. We got 3.4 gallons, and uh, out of $10, so roughly get about 24 miles per gallon on the highway with the uh, Dodge minivan, 2007. I think it's rated for like 25, 24, 25 uh, miles per gallon, maybe 26, 27, somewhere around there. I ain't gonna look it up, but I know it's up there, you know, between 25 and 26, somewhere around there. So that's real good dealing with the fact is the tires are bad on it. The, the stabilizer lanes got bad on it and deal with a few other things I got to fix on this vehicle. So that worked out well. And the total cost of me, I 
if you add all that up right there and you add it all up it comes up to about 180 but i did have receipts that i lost and it's probably only been like 20 dollars more so i i would say it took me and then plus me driving around and doing other things in other cities i ain't did too much because i had those uh, experience before going down there and so it was really just trying to get back in a sense i'm gonna say it, if you add all the pictures up that's in the video comes up to 180 and the receipts i lost i'm gonna say it's about 200 dollars dealing with the gas prices driving through the bottom south area of america down in mostly until you get to like uh, uh, Oklahoma City. I think o not Oklahoma City. It's still south, I believe. Yeah. Until you get like Alamosa, Alamosa, Texas, or something like that. Um, Amoroso, something like that. One or two. Um, I think that's when you get kind of closer to the west, and now I'm west out. But yeah, I'll say about two hundred dollars. That is, if uh, uh, I didn't look it up before the video, but say so that almost like a day drive, basically, to get here. But it took me almost a week because me stopping and chilling there and everything. And I don't like to scrape and run with the vehicle. I like to drive roughly four to five hours, stop in whatever city I'm in and uh state i'm in and sleep there overnight and then get back up drive another four to five hours just being the fact is it's already a lot of miles on there um and it just makes your car last longer and another thing to let your car last longer don't drive your car like a nascar if you don't have a corvette or uh uh Mustang or any one of the Dodges, Hellcat or whatever, Scat Pack and all that, or Mercedes or BMW and all that, your car is not meant to be drive like a NASCAR every second. So, yeah, my car don't go past 70 miles per hour. You know, even if the speed limit is 75, sometimes I get up to the 75, 80, but then again, I let off the gas and let it just roll for a while, you know, because when you when you try to max out at 110 and all that, yeah, you might have a brand new car, but that's going to eat your car to pieces. You know, just take it easy because you don't have unless you have like I, the cars I name, unless you have those. Unless you have one of those type of car, I'm, I promise you. It ain't gonna last as long as one of those cars. And if the, even if you have one of those cars and you drive it nice, it's gonna last you forever. You just gotta put a little work from time to time. Whatever. You know? So yeah. Hope oh well. I was gonna say, I hope you enjoy, but I forgot. Let's add on this cooking piece to the next morning and everything. Like and subscribe and keep on watching this video. All right, we got some eggs on it there, and some butter, some beef, slices of beef, pepper jack cheese. And I got some kale right here, some seasoned kale. So, yeah. yeah. Flour tortillas. Egg, pepper jack cheese, and slice beef. Oh yeah, you can't forget the KO. Yeah, definitely can't forget the Chipotle line. There we go. Let's see how that tastes. Oof hot right now i think it's about 67 degrees aside and i'm cooking in in the van so got the doors open got the windows down and yeah let's see 
Got it there. I think I should have had a little bit of, to at least a couple slices of tomatoes. But this right here, boss. Hmm. <laughs> and it's good. I might be just, just only be making this for now on. I know y'all saw the last video with the uh, Southwest. But this right here, we ain't really a Southwest in, this, in a way. You don't have to check him. Don't have the spinach. Um, yeah, it's basically just switching the chicken and spinach for kale and beef. I literally can eat this all the time. So that was about to happen. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick little, quick little recipe. And the seasoning I put it in the eggs was mainly parsley, paprika, and basically natural seasoning. And then um, basically put the natural season in the kale too. And you know the chipotle sauce got his own little thing going on. I'm going to finish this up. Hope y'all enjoy. And come back and check out another cooking video recipe. Whoop it up.